Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hey, welcome to Uncle Tim's Farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and today we're hoping for some piglets. Bossy is getting today's her due date, and she's decided to get really serious about building a nest. So I'm going to see if I can slip up here and get some video of her without disturbing her. She's gathering hay and sticks and stuff. It, Kind of like watching a bird build a nest, the way she's gathering stuff up. It's very interesting. You can see, it's kind of, well, I don't know if you can see, but she's carrying a stick in her mouth. Right there. Uh, she heard me. She, uh, she's carrying that, that's where she's building her nest, right there. It's very interesting to see her gathering mouthfuls of hay and then sticks. And she comes and tests it out. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. When she saw me, she's gonna come up here. But you can see she's hanging really low. Oh, good grief. And gotten really full and tight with milk. See, oh, there, she's gathering up some more hay. She's getting serious about getting that nest put together. It's very interesting. Pretty neat. Anyhow, I'll be keeping an eye on her all day today. And hopefully there'll be some piglets. And hopefully they come in the daylight. So it's 11.30 p.m. now, and she's in some hard labor, you can see. She's pushing really hard. And right there, something comes out, and I didn't really realize it at the time, but that's actually the umbilical cord for the first pig that's going to be born. And that's a problem. That umbilical cord's supposed to be attached to that little pig. Come see. So you'll see here in just a second, she gets this pig pushed out and it's dead. It's fully formed, healthy looking pig, but something happened just in the last little bit, maybe the last few hours even, and that umbilical cord was severed for some reason. So this little pig was born dead. So after the last little pig was born, I went in the house for about 20 minutes and came back out and here we've got two live little pigs. One was just born, that one right there. Right here is the one time that I did intervene in this whole process. I reached down and turned this little pig around, got her headed in the right direction, and then left her be. Here we are, uh, not quite 15 minutes later, and these two have both dried off, and they're go ahead and trying to get something to drink. And you can see that one on the right is pretty tiny, so she's obviously the the runt, or hopefully the runt. A couple minutes later, uh, I can see that Bossy is in labor right here. See, she's straining, starting to push. So there's going to be another piglet here in just a minute. Piglets are born very quickly. 
I stopped recording just for a second to take a picture of the other two. And in that time, this little pig popped out. So I'm going to keep the camera rolling here just so you can see the whole process of what takes place after a piglet's born. How a piglet goes from this helpless looking little creature covered with gook to a clean, thriving, vibrant little animal looking for something to drink. There's live piggy number three. The first one was born was born breech and it was dead when it came out. Then two more came along fairly quickly and now we've got another live one here. It's just so amazing how God made them to know where to go when they're born. I mean, just seconds after it's born, it knows where to go. And look at that, it's going to pull its own umbilical cord loose, snap it off. It's amazing. That one's a pretty good size pig. Feisty. These two are getting a belly full. This one's about to get in there and get his, too. Yeah, that one's strong. Just a minute here, that umbilical cord will break. Not much room here against this tree where they are. Might have to move them. There, there goes that umbilical cord, pulled loose. <clears throat> well, it is after midnight out here, so we got three live piggies. That's good. She's trying to be careful not to lay on them or anything. Alright, well, I'm going to go in the house for a bit and I'll come back and check on these three and see how many more we've got in there. She's still pretty large. I'm guessing there's a heap more in there find out here shortly well I don't know how shortly it will be but we'll find out here in a bit another new one that's the newest one so we got four live ones This one's a little lost. There you go. Shivering like a crazy, but it's not very cold out here. It's actually 60 degrees. That one up there in the front is pretty runty. These other three are nice big pigs, but that one's kind of runty. You're almost there. Whoops. I'd have to give him a hand back up there. Or, well, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I'll give him a chance. Find their way back. There you go. The right direction. Oops. Sorry, I was too busy watching. Almost got it. There you go. Yep, 
So we got four live pigs and these three nice big vibrant that one she's but well I don't know if it's a boy or a girl like I said anyhow that one's lively just much smaller than the rest anyhow well I'm not sure how much later I'm gonna stay up here tonight to watch this process Right now we've got four. So we're up to five. Looks like that little runty one's got a belly full. She's just now trying to stay warm, but these others are feisty. Going at it. So five live piggies. It's interesting that these little ones are black. They almost look like Berkshires but they're actually the boar that they're out of is a Hereford boar so I guess they have Hereford type markings but they're black instead of red anyhow they're pigs they're cute five alive sure more on the way she's still big as a house One, two, three, four, eight. Yep, there's eight. I went to bed last night at 1 a.m. There were five. Now I've got eight little piggies. Here they are. Girl, girl. Oh. One, two girls, three girls, four girls, at least four of them are girls. That one over there on the far left is a little bit runty, but she looks like she's doing all right it's kind of chilly this morning not terrible I mean it's 48 so it's not terrible but a little bit cool that looks like she did well so she had the first one she had was came out breech and it was dead when it was born it was not alive so something happened right at the end and she had these other eight, and they all seem to be doing well here. That one is a little a bit of a runt, but uh, look at them. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> Curious. Eight healthy pigs. Like they're all doing very well. That one over there, she, she's a little adventurous. So there's four boys and four girls. And that one up there is kind of the runt. She looks like she's pretty active, so hopefully she'll be fine. We'll keep an eye on her. But the rest of them are all doing well, especially that one right there that one is a big one big pig this one a little black nose <laughs> uh, fun how fun new life is always fun the miracle of birth that God has given us to bring new life. Uh, this little piggy on the end, tip of the tail, has got a little white hair, little tail is white right on the very tip. Well, 
stay tuned i'll keep you posted how these little guys do thanks for watching see ya